Martin Luther Davis always said when he ended up somewhere and he asked him, why are you here? And he said, this is the place I'm supposed to be at this moment, at this time, at this time in our history, at this time in the history of the world. I want you to meet my family here. This is my family. These are my brothers and sisters right here. These are the ones who have been, who bear the brunt of what has happened with the bailouts, who bear the brunt of what has happened with this, this extraordinary depletion of people's ability to make a living. They're the ones who become, who are standing here. They're the ones whose backs that we all stand on. Remember that. They're the ones right here. As we take here, we talk about this moment. This moment has to realize itself in a movement. A movement that just doesn't happen with an occupation. A movement that has to be organized. Organized and organized. As the great labor leader, A. Philip Randolph said, said, said once, we have to organize to change what is happening in our lives. And that's what we have to do. We have to take this moment, this extraordinary moment, which is happening with 477 cities in the world. Take this moment. Right here, you're not alone in this. They're alone in this. Remember, you represent the 16.5 million people, 15.5% of those who are unemployed and unemployed. You represent the 88% of workers who are not represented by a union. That's what's happening in this country. That's what's happening, that's what you represent. You represent the homeless men and women. You represent those who've been dispossessed, those who, who have been taken out and removed from the system. You represent those brothers in jail who are on strike, right, hunger strike right now. You represent them. You represent Troy Day. You represent your part of this. So when we build a movement, we just can't build a movement for one part of the situation. We have to change the whole part of the situation. We have to change the whole part. We have to not only march, march right here. We not only have to organize and occupy, but we also have to say to D.C. and that administration in D.C. that that jobs plan that job program is inadequate. It doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't do anything but create false hope. We're tired of false hope. We went, in 2008, we came young people like yourself, people who have been, people who have been all the time working and struggling, figuring that they had some chance to change, some real chance of hope. We were fooled. We know that right now, right now, they're listening to you right now. They see that business will not happen as usual. We cannot have business happen as usual. You understand that? So we have to stand up. We have to stand up as our brothers and sisters have stood up in Haiti. We have to stand up as our brothers and sisters have stood up in other places. They have to stand up in Tier Square, wherever it's in Egypt, wherever they stood up. We have to stand up with them and knowing that we're part of that same voice that's happening with men and women on the streets of Greece, and Spain, and other places. We're part of that voice. And we will, we're not, we will not accept anything less than a change, a real change, a change for the future. We have to stand up for not only who we are right now, and where we are right now, but we have to stand up for the future of our children and the future of the world. We have to stand up, not only for the future of the world, we have to stand up for the precious Mother Earth that we stand on. That we stand on. So that when they decide to build an Alaskan pop of oil line from Alberta, when they decide to build an oil line from Alberta, we have to stand up and say no more. No more, this is our earth. This is our common ground. This is where we stand, and this is where the fight begins. That's what it is. That's where it is. And we have to prepare to do that. Not this this weekend. Not 
just this weekend for our weekend warriors. We don't need weekend warriors. We need 24-7 warriors. And that's what you have to become. You have to become that. You have to be like Sojourner Truth, a 24-7 warrior. Every day, every day. You have to be that. As we are global women's strike, 24-7 warriors. United Teachers in LA, 24-7 warriors. That's what we are. DCF, F, give us back our children, 24-7 warriors. Let's have some 24-7 warriors right now. Right now. Right now. 99 and a half. I said won't do. We need 100% of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Daddy Glover, what inspiration.